Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. To the many students, faculty, staff, and alumni, neighbors and partners from the city of Cambridge, and first-time visitors to campus, thanks for joining us as we engage in thought-provoking discussions about the vital role college campuses can play in our society and the services that they make to the advancement of humanity. Let me begin by congratulating and thanking Professor John Oxendorf and Dean Hash Hashem Sarkis for organizing this extraordinary event. And to our panelists who have come from near and far to be with us, we are so grateful you are lending us your knowledge, vision, and time at this significant moment in MIT's history, a moment of celebration as we reflect on our first 100 years in Cambridge and plan for our next 100. As we look out and move forward, the discussions that will take place today and tomorrow will be very instructive. Campus architecture and planning, urban innovation districts, experiments in education at the university secondary and childhood levels, and the implications of the virtual campus, they are all really critical topics. And I say critical because at the moment of our 100-year anniversary in Cambridge, we are at a crossroads. Where we go next will have profound consequences for our students, faculty and staff, for our scientists, engineers, architects, humanists, artists, and entrepreneurs, and for the connections and communities we create here at home and the world over. What's at stake? Well, for starters, MIT and other academic institutions must leverage the opportunities and address the challenges associated with the convergence of the residential and digital models of learning. We have a responsibility to educate the next generation of leaders who will accelerate the discoveries that can solve humanity's most pressing problems, disease, poverty, climate change, to name just a few. And we have an obligation to build vibrant, thriving communities locally and globally. At MIT, we are embarking on a campus planning and building effort that will require us to reinvent where and how our students live and learn. It will make us rethink how our spaces support the discovery of life-saving cures and technologies. And it will allow us to build innovation ecosystems in Cambridge and across the country and globe. As we develop the designs and ready the shovels, we would be wise to look to our past and present to inform our future. We must ask and answer the question, what are the best ways to carry our men's et manus traditions of hands-on learning, knowledge application, and service to the world well into this century and the ones that follow? That's what MIT 2016 and this symposium are all about, convening the best and brightest from our community and outside of it to reflect and dream, to problem solve, and to help all of us act with the same conviction and boldness as our forebearers. Thank you again to our organizers, panelists, and audience for celebrating and engaging with us. Your curiosity, expertise, and big thinking pays fitting tribute to MIT's first 100 years in Cambridge and to our next 100. So without further delay, let's get these conversations going. Thank you.